Good morning. Do you have some camping fears or anxieties that you're not sure you can get over? We'll grab a cup of coffee and pull up a chair because I'm going to share my top five camping fears and how I've overcome. Well, hi. So today I'm not going to go over any camping products or anything that we love or may not love. I actually would like to talk about my top five camping fears and how I've overcome them. But before I get into that, I want to start with my camping history. So growing up, I did not do a lot of camping. We did a lot of picnics and uh, river swims when I was young, and that was wonderful and a great way to spend my childhood. But that's really the most outdoorsy I was growing up. Um, I did one camp trip when I was a teenager, and that was with family. They took care of me. They cooked all the meals. They did all the hard work. I didn't set up a tent, any, nothing like that. My uh, contribution to that camp trip was feeding the chipmunk. I was very much a suburban kid growing up. I would ride my bikes and take walks a lot more than I would take hikes or treks out into nature. So, knowing that, you'll know that I was mostly a city dweller and my love of the outdoors was from inside. Even when I was told to go outside and read a book, I mostly wanted to stay inside and still read the book. I'm going to go through the top five fears or anxiety I have had before I went camping on my first real camping trip in order of terribleness. So my first major camp fear was bears. I found out in the um, camp spot we'd be going to that bears would frequent the um, garbage pickup areas that they had and I assumed they'd also frequent the tent areas that I was going to be sleeping in and kill me in my sleep by ripping through the tent and I would be so deep asleep that I wouldn't even know or have any chance. Every time I go camping, I still have nightmares about grizzly bears tearing through our tent or tearing through our travel trailer. Um, and I will probably still have nightmares when we have our rooftop tent once it's on our new camping trailer. The fear is, I think, deeply subconscious, but regardless, there's still an issue with me and bears slaughtering me. I think most people have that same issue. So the way I've got over that fear or conquered it, so to speak, is I did research. I learned about different kinds of bears. I learned the bears in the campsites we were going to, at least back then, were mostly black bears. I learned how to keep safe against bears and not to store any food in the tent or any smelly things that might attract them, how to keep our waste and everything far, farther away from camp, dispose of trash appropriately, things like that. So the way I conquered my first fear, slaughter by bear, was knowledge. Knowledge is power, right? That's usually the thing that can help quell a lot of people's fears. My second fear is in the same vein, being catastrophically injured or maimed or something along those lines while out deep in the woods where there's no other help around except me and my husband maybe somebody's if we're camping with them as well. So to conquer that fear of potentially losing a limb or getting um, a deep cut or falling and breaking a leg, again, knowledge is how I was able to conquer the fear. So I had to understand how would we treat various potential injuries and how can we be prepared for them. So we have, when we go camping, a very vigorous first aid kit. It's not the thing you can just buy at your local drugstore and has a few bandages and alcohol wipes that don't really do too much when you're out camping. So we make sure that we have compresses, tourniquets, bandages, gauze, all sorts of things for the just in case. The other big thing is we check our service. As we're moving along, we are aware when we are in and out of service. So if somebody has to rush back and make a call for some terrible reason, we would be aware of where we could backtrack to 
close enough to get service and start calling the appropriate people. My third fear is being unprepared. So not having the tools we might need to uh, enjoy ourselves, not having the right kind of food, not having the right kind of clothing. So this isn't so much a fear as it is an innate anxiety <laughs> that I have within myself. And so the way that I'm able to overcome that fear is I'm planning ahead. And every single camp trip I take, I also take notes of the things I wish I'd had that I was missing. I've never been without the essentials. A roof over my head, which is a tent or a travel trailer in my case. Somewhere warm to sleep, which is a bed, sleeping bag, cot, anything like that. And clothing to protect me from the sun or cold. So I thankfully have at least whatever I wore to get up camping and usually a jacket. Um, I actually usually have a lot more. I bring a lot more clothes than I need. I bring like five sweaters for a three day trip. It doesn't make sense, but I need them. <laughs> Fear number four is creepy crawlies. Having something unknown bite me without my awareness, leaving a painful welt or mark or the worst is the scratchy, itchy feeling after a mosquito particularly. So that isn't maybe a true fear. It's not going to actually make me not want to go camping, but it irritates the living bejesus out of me. So the way I've conquered this fear is to make sure that my bedding is made so nothing can just easily get into that so it can't bite me when I'm sleeping at night, ideally. The other thing is um, insecticides, natural insecticides is my preference. So I use something called cedar side and it smells like heaven, like cedar forests freshly baked in the sun. I'll use that. Another effective thing is um, dried herb bundles. So like rosemary, mint, uh, they look kind of like the things that people will sage their houses with. The um, bundle of those herbs dried up, tied together, and then thrown on a fire so it will release all of this smoke over you and the campsite. We found that's pretty effective. We had a beautiful campsite once and then realized it was swarming with mosquitoes. My husband, myself, and my dog were all just getting eaten alive. We threw those bundles on regularly and enjoyed a nice camp smoke bath for the duration of that trip. And it helped a lot. We had a few bites, of course, but not nearly as many as you would have suspected watching the masses of those tiny critters devour you. Okay, I obviously hate mosquitoes. The last and fifth camp fear that I have that I'm incredibly proud to have overcome is peeing in the woods. That's probably gonna be way too much information for some of you, but too bad, so sad, you can turn it off if you want to. I, like I said, I didn't have a lot of experience growing up in the outdoors. If I'd had to pee outside before out of necessity, I did and it was not good. It, I didn't know what I was doing, I didn't know how to position myself. It was incredibly awkward and stressful for me. So before this camp trip, knowing that there was going to be nowhere for me to use the restroom, I learned how to pee at home first. So I would be super awkward and I would position myself in the shower like if I was in the woods and make sure that I could pee appropriately without anything getting all over me, which was the greatest fear, like not being able to go because of, of course, performance anxiety, plus the fact that you don't want to get piddle all over yourself. So. I practice at home. I even tried those things um, you can use as a female standing up. I don't recommend them for the record. That's because, yes, they're cool. You can pee standing up as a woman, but then you have to keep the device with a little bit of piddle dribble on it somewhere. So you have to either put it in a bag or hang it on your backpack to dry out for the world to see. And then when you take it out of a bag, if that's where you've decided to put it, it's still got your little droplets on it you have to touch. And to me, it just wasn't worth it. So uh, womaning up and learning to just squat down was super helpful. The other thing I did on my first camp trip to help me learn to 
pee in the woods and get over that performance anxiety was find stumps or logs. So they were kind of like a chair or a toilet, so to speak. And I was able to sit down and rest my body enough and just let her go, do my thing. And I would highly recommend that to anybody who has this fear. And um, I also did research on it. I YouTubed. I tried to figure out how do women pee in the woods. It's a thing. People actually post videos. There are some very interesting content to look at out there if you get so brave. So those are my top five fears and how I've overcome them. Some of them are just anxieties. Some of them are actual fears that won't ever go away. I will still have those bear nightmares, but I have conquered the biggest one, which was peeing in the woods. I hope this has been helpful for anyone who's nervous about taking their first camping trip. Just know that any hurdle or anxiety or worry you might have, there's a way to overcome it. The outdoors is so wonderful and worth enjoying. And if you can take the time to break beyond your issues, we'll say, it is very much worth it. The solace and peace that the outdoor provides is absolutely unmatched. So I hope you all have a fantastic day and happy camping. Bye. Vain. Oof. Um, I have things to say. Third fear is on my phone. With a, do you have me, camera? Am I in focus? Looks like I lost a big fat chunk of my whole beginning. Well, maybe not the whole beginning. I think I'm in the right order, especially.